Good evening, everyone. It's Monday, March 11th, and today's title is The Outpouring of the Last Plagues. But before we begin, let's have our 777 prayer. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for being amazing in our lives, for taking care of us, and we can't say thank you enough. We ask that you continue to work in our hearts so that we can become more like you. In your name we pray. Amen. With the cessation of Christ's intercession in the heavenly sanctuary, the destiny of each individual is forever determined. The time has come for those who have spurned the gospel to experience God's wrath in its fullness. The seven last plagues mirror the plagues poured out upon Egypt. As the Egyptians' plagues affected the Egyptians while the Israelites were spared, so God's people will be protected during this time period of trouble. The plagues on Egypt disclosed the hardness of Pharaoh's heart and showed the Egyptians the inability of their gods to protect them. Similarly, the last plagues increasingly hardened the hearts of the worshippers of the sea beast and revealed the powerlessness of Babylon to protect them from divine judgment. The first four plagues are not universal, or the inhabitants of the earth would be wholly cut off. The first inflicts painful and loathsome sores exclusively on the worshippers of the beast. The second and third plagues affect the sea and the rivers of the spring waters, which turn into blood. Without water to drink, rebellious humanity cannot survive. The fourth plague affects the sun so that it scorches people, causing unbearable pain. The unbearable pain inflicted by the plagues does not soften the hearts of unrighteous humanity so as to change their rebellious attitudes. Instead, they curse and blaspheme God who executes these plagues, nor do any of them repent. In Revelation 16, 10 through 11, we can see that the fifth plague strikes the throne of the beast. It was Satan who delegated the throne to the beast. Now even the seat of Satan's authority cannot withstand the forces of these plagues. As people suffer in pain, they realize the inability of Babylon to protect them. However, they have set their minds against God and even the terror of the plagues does not change their hearts. Today, the question is, how can we maintain a close walk with the Lord? If tragedy strikes, we know enough of God's love to trust Him, even amid suffering. Please answer in the questions below. And also want to say thank you for watching. Hit that like button and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.